Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today for the Best Buy Canada blog, and this time I'm looking at an all-new Sphero robotic ball called the Sphero Mini, which is being touted as the world's smallest app-enabled robot that we know of, which is their little disclaimer at the end there. And it's actually a pretty fun little product that I've really been enjoying testing. It's got all of the typical or standard features that you'd expect of a Sphero robotic ball, things like being able to drive it around pretty much anywhere and learning to code and all of that other kind of good stuff. And we're going to get into some of my favorite bits here in a minute, some of the really coolest stuff. But first, I just want to quickly run through a few of the key details and specs that I really think you ought to know about. So, the Sphero Mini is roughly the size of a ping pong ball, and it weighs just 46 grams. It currently comes in five different colors. There's white, pink, green, blue, and orange. And it's chock full of teeny tiny technological wonders, such as its mini gyroscope an equally small accelerometer, and built-in LED lights that can glow in pretty much any color imaginable. And of course, it is controlled by the freely downloadable Sphero Mini app through a Bluetooth connection, but you can also download the Sphero Edu app if you want to and practice using JavaScript to program it. For instance, having your mini robot navigate a maze of your own design. Although this feature is not yet active, so I can't really speak from experience on this one. It just says on the website that the feature is coming soon. Now, one play pattern that is ready to enjoy makes use of some very tiny accessories that are included with the Sphero Mini. There are six cute little sort of rubbery bowling pins and three essentially traffic cones that come with it so you can try to either knock over the pins or navigate through and around the cones or anything else that you can think of to have fun while driving your Sphero Mini which can be done in a number of different ways. For example, you can use the joystick screen in the app to make it go pretty much anywhere you want it to roll, or you can use the slingshot screen to make it kind of shoot along in a straight line at a very high speed, and that one's actually quite good for the bowling game. And you can also use your device and just tilt it and move it around to steer the ball, or you can even use your own facial expressions to control this thing via the face drive feature, which is kind of fun and cool and stupid all at the same time, but I suspect that the kids will just just love it. Anyway, the Sphero Mini charges via a standard micro USB cord and you actually have to split the ball in half and take the inner robot out in order to charge it up. So that's definitely a bit different than anything that we've seen before in a Sphero robotic ball. And of course the whole time that it's charging it flashes in blue and then it turns to a solid green color once it's fully charged up. And that takes about an hour to complete and will get you roughly 45 minutes of play time. So kind of a bit strange there that the charging takes longer than the playtime that you'll actually get out of it but oh well it's not all that long anyway now the bluetooth range of the sphero mini is given as 10 meters and it can travel at a speed of up to one meter per second which is 2.2 miles per hour so really quite fast for such a small robot and honestly that makes it kind of difficult to control when you're just driving freely when i tried to use the joystick to just knock over the bowling pins it took me forever i really couldn't even do it i only actually knocked them over a couple of times so a pretty sad performance on my part but anyway as of the time of this video there is nowhere in the app that you can go to dampen down the speed to a slower and more manageable level so I really don't know if that may come in a future app upgrade or not uh, I believe the bigger Sphero app enabled robots do have that option but not this one at least so far anyway I pretty much saved my favorite aspect of the Sphero Mini the very end of the video here and that is the fact that you can play some really cool video games with it in the Sphero Mini app and of course you use the ball itself as the controller and at the present time there are three different games in the app although I wouldn't be surprised at all if more were to come later but anyway the ones that they have right now are called Round Trip, Lightspeed Drifter and Exile 2. So in round trip, you have to burst bricks that are laid out in the shape of a polygon, and you keep having to destroy new polygons as you move through the game, and it's actually quite a lot of fun. You can kind of see how it works there on the screen. You just turn the Sphero mini ball itself to rotate the polygons so that you're always getting in the way of the ball, because you don't want to allow the ball to go off screen without at least bursting up some of those bricks. And second up is the light speed drifter game, which is a driving game, and you basically use the controller 
to rotate the tunnel ahead so that you can open up gaps in it and drive through. And this was probably my least favorite of the games, but that's only because I was really, really bad at it. However, the one called Exile 2 was by far my favorite, and we're going to have a really good look at this one here pretty much for the rest of the video because I've been having a blast playing this thing. You're basically a small spaceship that's shooting and bursting up asteroids, and the shooting is continuous, so basically you're just using the Sphero Mini to move all around the screen so that your missiles always hit those huge rocks that are constantly flying at you. And as you move through the different levels, it begins to get more and more difficult with rocks even starting to come from the back at one point and you actually have to drop bombs to destroy those ones so it's really really cool it's actually quite reminiscent of the old arcade games from the 80s where you're kind of flying around shooting up asteroids or enemy spaceships or whatever and really just a whole lot of fun and I think definitely my favorite aspect of the Spiro Mini overall so those are the major features of this product as it stands at the time of release but as you may already know if you're familiar with Sphero products these things can and do evolve over time to offer more features and play patterns so you just never know how much cooler the Sphero Mini may yet become. In any case I like it just as it is right now and I'm happy to recommend it not merely as a fun new Sphero product but also as a more affordable alternative to the larger Sphero robots so I'm definitely on on board with that. Now if you'd like to learn more about the Sphero Mini be sure to check out my complete written review over at Best Buy Canada's blog and while you're there take a look at some of the other cool new toy items that are currently being reviewed this month. There's some excellent Sphero stuff if you're into that especially Star Wars related stuff. And anyway that's all I've got to say for now so I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope to catch you back here for the next review. Have an excellent day and I'll see you soon.